welcome to Field Notes, and today I want to talk to you guys about my favorite fossils. I've always really liked these two fossils because they're really interesting and both fairly rare occurrences. So without further ado, let's get into the first one. The first one I want to talk about is the fossil of a protoceratops and a velociraptor caught in the midst of a battle and then they died and it is frozen in time, this battle between these two. Now the fossil was originally found in 1971 in the Gobi Desert, and while I've always been taught that these two were actually in the midst of fighting each other, it's not entirely clear. They could be fighting and then they died, or the Protoceratops was already dead and the Velociraptor was simply scavenging. There's also a bit of debate on how the fossil was actually created. While it is obvious that they are covered in sand, it could have been from either a dune collapsing or a sudden sandstorm. Regardless, it had to have happened fairly quickly for them to have been in this position and then just frozen. These types of fossils are so rare and the fact that we have this epic snapshot of these two dinosaurs in battle is a little bit mind-boggling. I mean you can see the arm of one of them in the mouth of the other and the velociraptor has his death claw out. I remember being told about this fossil for the first time. It was in my first ever geology class and it was just one of those moments where I, t I talk about these moments in, in this video right here that you just kind of get perspective for a second. There's a fossil of two dinosaurs fighting. That's so cool. So many things had to line up just right for this fossil to be created the way it was and the fact that it's even around is awesome. A fossil like this is like its own little story and it's just waiting for us to come along and unearth it so its story can be told again. In the same vein of there being a story told with these fossils is my second favorite fossil. And this is one that is less well known than the Velociraptor and Protoceratops fighting and it's of an ichthyosaur who has died in the middle of giving birth. Everybody kind of knows what a Velociraptor and a Protoceratops look like but an ichthyosaur is a marine reptile that lived in the Mesozoic era. And because of this fossil of this ichthyosaur giving birth, there have been two main conclusions that have been reached. One is that ichthyosaur actually gave birth to live young, which is not typical of reptiles because they, they usually lay eggs and mammals give live birth. But ichthyosaur, you can see the baby right there. It's a live birth. It's coming out. There's no egg. There's nothing. It appears in the track of evolution from first reptile to now modern reptiles. There may have been some juggling between whether or not they laid eggs and whether or not they gave live birth. If that didn't blow your mind enough, the second conclusion is even crazier. Ichthyosaur might have given birth on land. If you look at the fossil, you can see that the head of the baby is what is emerging first. This is only found in animals that give birth on land. Whereas in marine mammals, such as whales and dolphins and manatees, they give birth tail first. And we wouldn't have known as much about ichthyosaur as we do if the stars didn't align and this ichthyosaur die and be covered quickly, then none, no, we probably would never have found found out either of those. So those are my two favorite fossils. The Protoceratops and the Velociraptor one is fairly well known, but I hope you learned something about Ichthyosaur. Thank you for sticking with this channel during my last semester of uni. I will hopefully be able to get more videos out less sporadically when this is all said and done. Remember to like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Tea is also cool. Look at my awesome mug. Ah! really cold green tea, but look. Look at it. You can't see it because it won't focus, but it's pretty. You're pretty. <laughs> Are my feet in the shop? Mm, yep, your toe is, but that's okay. <laughs>